pediatric occupational therapist and owner of Carolina Kinder Development. I've personally treated over 6,000 infants, most who've had some combination of torticollis, brachycephaly, and plagiocephaly. I believe that by more education, we can get a better handle on these issues. Today we're going to talk about what is plagiocephaly. Here is a normal head shape. On the right is this baby here. It's easy to notice that flattening on the back left. What is also important to notice is that due to that flattening, the left front of the forehead is forward, the ear is forward, and there's flattening in the right frontal area. So in these two planes, there's flattening. It's not just what's going on in the back of the head. The issues with this, if it's mild, we're all, nobody is exactly symmetrical. However, if you are more moderate to severe, this diagram, that is very severe. That puts an infant at risk later in life that their jaw is in not in good alignment, which could create pain and um, issues with talking as you're moving your jaw. There can also be issues because also one eye is more forward than the other, and there can be issues related to that. It is not a cosmetic issue, and it's in the moderate to severe range. If you would like to learn some ways that you could possibly prevent this in your baby, or if your baby has it, trying to help them with it, please take a look at some of our videos. One video is called Sideline. Another video is Choosing the Right Toys. Another video is um, the um, positioning for sleep. All of these are very, very important towards helping your baby um, either not have this issue or to help them if they have started to have it. I hope this was helpful.